Now that I have started Photoshop and opened my base image, I begin by creating layers of each element. First, let me start with the table. Using the rectangular marquee tool, I select it. Now, the next step is to duplicate this image layer using the Ctrl J option and name it as table. Now let me move on to the next illustration, the boy. Selecting the background layer and using the same rectangular marquee tool, I now select the boy. Oh oh, I need to be sure that the selection does not include any other element. Okay. Let me adjust the selected area with the arrow keys so the boy is in the center of the selection. Done. Neat. Now, I create a duplicate layer of this image and name it boy. Well now, let me repeat the same for the other two images also. Select the image girl. Create duplicate layer and name it girl. Now the bowls. Select and create duplicate layer and name it as pot. Fine. All layers of the elements are created. Good. I can now move on to the next activity which is placing these layers in the required position for my composition. Mm. Before that, I need to remove the background from all the images. Let me start with the table first. I do not need the other elements now. So, I click on the eye to hide the background layer, boy, girl and the pot. Only the table is visible on the workspace now. Well, let me move this table to the center of the workspace with the Move tool. Next, I select the Magic Wand tool and click on the white patch and hit the Delete key. Look, the white patch has gone and the image has blended with the background. Wasn't that quick? Let me do the same for the other elements also. Finally, the bowls. White patch removed with the magic wand tool. So friends, now I am ready with all my elements to be positioned for the composition. You see the inset? This is the composite I want. You see this layer palette? I am going to hide and reveal the layers to get my composite. Watch how I do it. The pots seem too big. I am going to resize them. Well, seems okay now. Now, I am to bring the girl beside the boy. Let me make way for this. Well, now for the girl, I need to repeat the same sequence. But, remember my illustration? There was just one table and one set of pots. So, first let me make a copy of the table layer I will move the table to the right and bring the girl behind the table. Now the pots. I will make a copy of the pot layer and position the pots on the table.
Next, we'll need to flip the balls. I can do this using the flip horizontal tool from edit transform flip horizontal. Now all that you see on the screen, the boy, the girl, the pots and the tables all are independent components. It will be better to group them. Let's form two groups. One group comprising the girl, her table and her pots. and another group comprising the boy, his table and his pots. Now when I drag the groups, observe all components of the group move together as one entity. So you see, it is easy to position the composition on the workspace if grouping is done. Let me align the groups and then I am ready for the next activity, coloring the composition. I am going to use the paint bucket tool for coloring. First, let me start with the boy. I choose the color blue for the shirt. Now the table. Hmm, brown for the table? No, not this brown. I can adjust the color using the color sliders. Now the tabletop and the sides and the legs. I need the same shade as the side of the table. Using the eyedropper tool for picking the color, I can paint the same color on the legs. Now for the other elements. For the boy, let me color the boy's face and hands. Look, the composition looks alive with the colors. Now, it is the girl's turn. Now, the table. Next, the girl's shoes and socks. Again, I drop a tool for picking the color and then the paint bucket tool for painting the color. Next, the girl's clothes. Wow! This composition is now almost done. Let me quickly finish painting the face and the hands. Zoom in the image and color the parts left out. Now the hair and hairband. And 
Finally, the fringes on the forehead. Well, finally, it is done. And both brother and sister are happy with their marbles. Don't forget to save the final composition as JPEG and PSD. Friends, want to try this yourselves?